Hello and welcome. This video is brought to you by TheStreamingAdvisor.com. Tailor your entertainment with streaming. Do you have the new Plex channel for Roku and other platforms? It's on about six right now, and I'm sure of more. That's on PlayStation 4 and a lot of the smart TVs. This is the new look for the what they call the big screen app. But there's a lot of questions about how to navigate it. People say that they, they feel like this is unintuitive and that it's not as customizable as it used to be. And what I'm going to show you in this video is how to do a lot of things to customize your experience so that maybe you get more comfortable with it more quickly because I don't think they're just going to up and switch anything. It would be nice to give the option, but Plex only wants to maintain but so many different looks, so I don't expect them to add a bunch of extra apps. But with that out of the way, let me show you some things that you pr might not have known about that I think you'll appreciate. Now you already see the basic layout of this deal. You've got your sections you know, of the different categories are up on the top of the screen now instead of the side of the screen. But for instance, do you think that there's too many things up here? Maybe you don't want to necessarily access pictures all the time. You want to get straight to your videos. There are ways around this. First off, you can control how many categories are at the top of your screen here. If you only want a couple, you only want the main things you want, you're going to click over here on your username. Obviously, you are not me, because I am Downey Ryan in. Man, whew, what a nice, nice looking man that is. <laughs> okay, enough of the vanity. So, here's what you do. You come in, you go into settings press OK and from the settings you have all of these categories here and what you want to look for here is the home screen media types and from here you can edit that entire list so and you can take it down to nothing really I mean like we can take it all the way down I mean you can take it down to absolutely no categories and now see the home screen has nothing nothing at all you can still get to your different rows but now there's no navigation from the home screen I don't know if you can consider that helpful or easier but it can be done if you like you can also add and remove what is in your rows here Looks like it's going to lock up on you a little bit. I've tried this a couple of times, and just so you know, when I've removed everything, it's tended to lock up. That's why I'm going to leave that in the video, because I've been playing, playing with this app for a while now, and it keeps doing that. So, just know, if you take everything out the first time, it's going to lock up a bit, but you can still navigate your rows, you see so let's say you want to get rid of your rows maybe when you first got the new screen it created you know 50 different things and you were just felt overwhelmed it's really easy to fix that it's just like other channels on roku for instance it's all about using the little star button so let me show you what you do you want to remove a row like right here we got top rated by megan martin you want to remove a row see over here in the right hand corner it says options you're going to press that star button like this now you have your options mark is played remove from hub home browse hub and go to tv shows now if you haven't explored this it's worth exploring for instance going into the tv shows is just going to pull up everything from a to z in tv shows under megan martin but what we're talking about here is removing so what you're going to do is press the star and just say remove from hub home and you can do this with each category like right here it's under recently added videos from Toshiba remove from hub home recommended podcasts star button remove from hub home start watching press star remove from hub home and see you can do this and you can clear 
the entire screen if you want. You can start clean and we'll do that. The web shows, remove from Hub Home. Now we're down to just recommended web shows. We'll remove from Hub Home. Oh, that's all. That's actually add. Okay, so. So we're going to exit out of Splex. We're going to go in. It's going to be a nice, pretty, a really clean looking screen here. All right, boom. So the only thing we've got here is this. And so now it's time to add things. So in order to do this, you're going to do this. You're going to add some categories. So let's say you have movies that you want to be able to access directly from the home. You go into settings, go to the media types, and let's say we want to do movies and let's just make sure there's nothing else that makes sense. Okay, so here, this now has, should add movies back to the fray, and it does. So now we have the movies, And you see that it's you know broken down into the categories. And let's say you want to add the other servers. So you got John Logie here. And let's add Megan Martin. So you'll notice at the top of the screen here it says edit list order. And that's very important because what it means is you can move what is available on the screen around. This is the line of demarcation. This is the little three dot line. Anything below it will not appear on your list without going into this menu. So what you want to do here is say edit list order. And go down to what you want to add. Press OK. And then you see the little arrow appears. And you can put it back in place. Kind of like moving a Roku channel. You can even make it the top one. Whatever is at the top is going to be the first thing in the row from left to right. So we're going to press OK. I'm going to back out of this. And now Megan Martin is the top list. So everything in Megan Martin's little list is going to be in here. You go into Manage Hub under Megan Martin's list, and you can control what goes where. So, let's say you want this, Top Movies by Michael Bay, to appear on your home screen because you're just into explosions and patriotism. You're going to press the star button. Add to Hub Home. If you would like recently added movies, you go to that row, you press the star, add to Hub Home. Now when we go back out and go to the home page, here we are, top movies, recently added movies, and so on. And once you're there, you can change the way that it works. So let's say you want the movies, like the top movies by Megan Martin in, or by uh, Michael Bay. You go down to this end of the bottom of the screen. You gotta look at all the menus, manage hubs and restore to defaults. What you want to hit though is manage hubs and then edit list order and you choose the thing that you want to be at the top of the screen by pressing OK. Boy, the movie people are just going to hate me for putting Michael Bay at the top. <laughs> OK, so Michael Bay is now at the top. I'm going to back out and now see, now it's at the top. So if we launch Plex new, you go in, and there we are. So this is the way that this works. It's very different. 
but I think it's going to work out pretty well for people. And in general, it's a very good look. If you want to add in something like a, a server change, that's done from the same place as we did the other things. You're going to highlight your name, you're going to press OK, and you're going to go to Media Server Status, and here is where you can access the different servers that are available. If you want to completely get out of everything and kind of start over, depending on how you set this up, you go into the home screen. You click on restore to defaults. And what this invites you to do is undo this. It's going to undo your settings. Say yes. And now you can access any of your other servers. This is important because whatever you choose is what's going to jump into first. For instance, this Toshiba PC, this is just running off of my laptop, and it's sort of a different, a different kind of setup. I don't have a bunch of movies and TV shows saved. But at the same time, if I want to get to something that has more ex exciting material, we go back in, restore the defaults, jump in on Mr. Logie here, and there's a lot more stuff. So I hope that helps you. All of these things are very, very customizable. It's all about what you allow. Why don't we go back into settings, go into the media types and add a couple of more you know, add a couple of more categories back. And at the same time, you can even move things to the front of the line. So we're going to edit list order. And let's say we want to put videos at the top. We're going to exit. And now you have more categories. And what's the first one going to be? Videos. You can do that with any of this. You can, you, know, you can make any of them the first thing. You can make any of them the last thing. You can have the things that you want in place and easy access. You can remove the things that you don't want. Personally, I like that. This, this actually reminds me a lot more of Kodi in the way that you can customize the home screen than it does Plex. I think that this is a step in the right direction. You might not think so, and if you don't, you know, talk about it in the chat or talk about it on the comments uh, you know don't be mean don't don't cuss and get all fussy but you know please do participate maybe plex will see it and take note but i hope that was helpful for you if you think so please subscribe i'm ryan downey the streaming advisor stream on my friends